Let every heart say amen. amen. Truly, we thank God for being back in the house of worship one more time. As the choir was singing, oh, how wonderful it is. Knowing that Jesus will take care of me. Oh, y'all should have shouted right there. Knowing that Jesus is going to take care of you. Amen. Give an honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. To each and every one of you, to our pastor, Pastor Davis, in his absence. Amen. To my assistant. Amen. Reverend William, to our associates, and each and every one of you all in Christ Jesus. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Huh? I can't think of any other place I'd rather be on a Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. I'm just glad and thankful for God. That he still sit high and look low, watching over each and every one of us, keeping us safe, keeping the deaf angels back because he's not done with us just yet. But if you turn with me in the writing of Paul, amen, in the writing of Paul, we're not going to hold you long, but you pray with me, amen. We'll be done and out. If you don't pray with me, we're still going to be done and out. Huh? Amen. Amen. Either way it go. But in the writing of Paul, amen, Romans 12, 1 and 2, we see it up on the screen. Amen. If you'd like to read along with me, you may. And it says... I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Hmm. And then he said, and be not conformed to this world, Oh, he's saying that for a reason. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable huh, and perfect will of God. Amen. It's, Paul's saying a lot to us here. What we want to embark upon as a thought, by the mercy of God. Amen. By the mercies of God. You see, our first and greatest work, after having become a Christian, and y'all learn about that a little bit this morning in your Sunday school lesson. Oh, yeah. Becoming a Christian is to offer up. Paul is saying, present your body, your whole entire self as a living sacrifice. And then he, he, he said in the text to what? Holy, acceptable, under God. Now, not unto the pastor, not unto Reverend Douglas, not unto Reverend William, my dear associates, but to who? You know why he's saying that? Because God is the one we got an answer to. When we leave this world. Oh, yeah. And, and, and then the scripture, it, it continues on in saying, which is your reasonable service. Hmm? That lets me know that the Lord is not going to put any more on me than what he already know I can handle. Reasonable. Uh, look, look at here, look at how God has been reasonable with us. Mm -hmm. 
boy, yeah. Well, then, what does God consider to be our reasonable service? Boy, yeah. Turn over to Romans 13, verse 13 and 14. And I'm going to ask somebody from the congregation to read those two verses for me. Because we in this together. Huh? Uh, one of our deacons wouldn't mind standing and read that verse 13 and 14 for us. You can bring it up on the screen if you want. Romans 13, verse 13 and 14. Let's see what it says. Hold up right there. You hear that? Let us what? Live what? All right. Go ahead. No provision for the flesh. Huh? Is that the... All right. Huh? Reasonable. God is being reasonable. He, and he give, tells us how in the writing of Paul what he wants. Now let me break it down for those that, that, that don't read very much, don't study very much. In other words, we must do our part is what he's saying. We must do our part, not because... When I'm feeling good, huh, it ain't easy. It's easy to do your part when you're feeling good. Everything ain't going your way. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supervisor on the job saying you're doing a good job. Keep it up. Oh, oh yeah, that make you want to go even more, don't it? Oh, yeah. But, but, but although now, sin might increase in your members, but God's grace increases all the more. But, but the problem with that is it still does not give me the right huh, to, to, to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. It still does not make it be okay that I can do whatever I want to do. I'm a married man. I ain't got to bother you. I'm a married man. Huh? Why you think my wife don't worry about what I do? Because she know I'm not going to be out there doing whatever I want to do. Mm hmm? Look at here. You see, just know that the eyes can be deceiving. Mm hmm? Oh, yeah. And, 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 and then we want to holler, well, the Lord understands. Oh, yeah. Doing what we want to do and holler, well, the Lord, he, the Lord understand. Is that what you're going to tell the Lord before the just bar? Well, Lord, I know you understood. Hmm? You see, as believers in Christ, none of us live it to himself. For what do we live? We live unto the Lord. Or what do we die? We're going to die unto the Lord. Huh? In other words, whether we live or die, it ought to be unto the law. Hmm? Whatever we do as servants of God, do it wholeheartedly, willingly, that you be blessed in order to receive the blessing. Hmm? Oh, yeah. You see, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with your good. Amen. Oh, yeah, you even know evil is all around us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes as Christians, we suffer on the account of evil folks. Huh? Oh, yeah, we do. And, and, and then we cry out, I just can't take this anymore, Lord. Hmm? But we have to keep our faith in God, no matter what. Like the, like the choir was singing, don't give up on God. 
Y'all heard it. God's not going to give up on us. Hmm? Oh, yeah. But we have to keep our faith in the Lord that we do not let our sin get the best of us. Huh? Or even let our sin separate us from the love of God. Because sins can do that. So we have to let nothing get in the way of separating us from the love of God, not even my own sin. That tells me right there, let me know I need Jesus. Oh, yeah, you need Jesus. Although we are saved, that don't mean we done stop sinning because we become saved. We now just a saved sinner. Now, I'm saved now. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost now. Satan can't go. Satan will jump on you in a heartbeat. Go to Holland, what the devil can't do, you better be careful. He tried to jump on me this morning. Oh, yeah. Brother Sonny, 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 well, I don't know what. Brother Sonny, I called him on the phone. He, he gave me some uplifting words, y'all. And I wasn't calling him for that, but for some reason, God knew who to put in front of me to keep Satan from intervening in my mind. Thank you, Brother Sonny. Amen. You see, by the mercies of God, Paul is saying, be not conformed to this world. Oh, yeah. In other words, as we move it down, we should not allow that which is unholy, huh, unlawful, to squeeze us into its own mold. Oh, yeah. I should not walk according to the fashion of the time. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What are you saying, bro? My friend got a, look at here, a hundred-dollar hat? I need a hundred-dollar hat. Oh, yeah. My, my, my friend live in a mansion? Huh? I want to live in a mansion, too. Y'all yeah, 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 hear what the law is saying? My, my cousin married to a millionaire. I want to be married to a millionaire. Huh? But now you, 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 you thought about, have you thought about counting up the cost? We don't know what they've been doing. And God wants us to be happy and have all these things. But you better count up the cost. Hmm? And, 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 and the cost of your discipleship. Hmm? And, and, oh, Lord, look at here. When we say the cost of your discipleship, look at here. We're talking about that includes your tithes and your offerings. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord, y'all got quiet in here. Don't get it twisted now. Huh? God said, God said there's nothing wrong with being wealthy, but you better pay me mine and give me, give it to me. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Don't be conforming to this world. Just know this, that your eyes can be deceiving. Oh, yeah. Uh, look here. She may, she may not be a female, but look like one. Help me now. Hello. Huh? And, 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 and he may not be a male, but he look like one. Y'all hear what the Lord's saying in Paul's writing? Your eyes can be deceiving. That's all he's trying to remind us of. The eye can be deceived. 
even been a Christian. Ah, they look like a Christian. Reverend Douglas, he, he, he seemed seem to look like a preacher. Does his life line up with the word the word of God said? Is he walking the walk? Talking the talk? But you want to holler, here comes them, he's looking like a preacher. Uh-oh. The eyes can be deceiving. Yeah, I'm picking on me. Uh-huh. I don't mind God whooping up on me. I don't mind being correction. Being correction don't bother me. What bothers me is when folks try to fool you into something they really ain't. It bothers God, too. Oh, yeah. You see, therefore, as a Christian, as a Christian, let me help you out. Y'all talked about that in the Sunday school lesson a little bit. Even though I wasn't there, I still study your Sunday school lesson. You see, most folks in the world do not know what a Christian is or how they become a Christian. Oh, yeah. But, but, but what a Christian is is a believer and their confidence in God's word. Huh? John even taught that a Christian is one who believes in Jesus Christ, that he is the son of God. Hello, somebody. Huh? And, and, and not only so, the Christian believes in Jesus, but they love the children as well. So how can you say you love me or love God and look at me cross-eyed? relationship here. There must be some love for me. I don't care if you love me with a long handle spoon. You better show some love. You say you're a Christian? Uh-oh. You see, when we look at this, I should not allow that because I say I'm a Christian, it, I should not allow that which is unlawful, unholy, huh, to squeeze me into its own mold. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Or, or it's fashion of the time, thereof. What are you talking about, Rem? I ought to be walking and looking at actually who I say I am. Not trying to imitate the world. Right. Mm -hmm. say, oh, yeah. oh yeah. You see, it, it's not expedient. I don't know about you, but it's not expedient for me. Or what God has in his agenda for me. Okay, huh? And it's not expedient for you in your agenda if you're a Christian, a child of God. That's a certain way you're going to walk, talk. Huh? You, me and not going to be running around with that window all down. You know? Huh? Oh, yeah. All you see is, is some kind of crack somewhere. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to bother you women, folks. Ain't bother y'all. Just keep your dress down. Cause me and like to look. Come on, let's be real about it, men folks. You, you, you know we gonna look. We may not say nothing, but we gonna look, and then we gonna look at each other. You see, which one is looking more than we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 
Our mind needs to be transformed. Hmm? But I'm still going to be a man. A woman going to still be a woman, but there's a way we ought to be able to carry ourselves. Oh, yeah. You see, therefore, we have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Whereas God reveals his will, which in the text, Paul is saying that good and acceptable, huh? Oh, yeah, and, 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 and the perfect will of him. You see, we must trust in the law. Hmm? And trust in the law with all thy heart, with all thy strength, with all thy might. Hmm? Well, what are you, you saying? In other words, what we're saying is what the psalmist said already. Lean not to your own understanding. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Let me move it down. Lean not to our own humanistic mind. Yeah, yeah. If we're going to trust in the law. And, and then we got to do it in all our ways. Everything about yourself. Hmm? Acknowledge the word of God. Huh? Oh, yeah. Acknowledge the word of God and of God's sins. And, and, and God, what God has said. And he's saying in order to know what's right and what's wrong. But are we doing that? I believe New Hope is doing that. Oh, yeah. You see, let me, let me make it a little more plainer for the younger people. I, I, I don't mean to jump on the old, older folks' toes either. Huh? But, but, but look at here. First time we're going to have a problem, we, we, we want to. She, she pissed me off. Facebook. Hey, girl. You know what they, girl, you know what he said. Girl, look at here. She, she made me mad. show you what she oh they own it ain't they huh oh yeah the, the, oh don't get the supervisor involved look here I'll tell you what I done seen huh now it might be deceiving but I don't think I'm the only one in here that's seen that. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Telling everybody, anybody, about their issues. Huh? When the woman had an issue of blood, what did she do? Did she go grab her? What happened with trusting in God? Ah, oh, you men folks ain't out of it. Oh, yeah. Let somebody cut you off in the intersection. 
Hmm. Look here, I can show you better than I can tell you here. Somebody, oh, he done cut me out. <laughs> what am I, I'm in the Lord, I'm on him. Yeah. yeah. He done, he done cut me out. Man. <laughs> Don't get your pistol. Huh? Look at, oh, wait a minute, I missed it. Huh? I seen it happen in California, y'all. Shoot your tires out, you be this parking spot. If he ain't can't find you, huh? Oh yeah. Grab his pistol in a minute. Instead of grabbing the God's word up. No. I'm gonna handle this law. Huh? Oh, look at here. Leaning to your own understanding will get you locked up, get you put in jail. Get you killed. Hello, somebody. You better sit down and have a talk with the Lord. Go down on your knees. Go to plan. Huh? You know what that tells me? You know what that ought to tell you? I need an attitude adjustment here. I need an attitude adjustment so that I can start working on what the word of Paul is saying in the text when he said, ye may prove what is that good. This him? This him? It can get you a whole lot of mess. That's why the Bible saying that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable. Huh? And, and, and then not only that, but it'll be the perfect will of God for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave y'all alone in a minute. I got to find a way out of here. <laughs> but the law wants us to get it right. Why we still able to get it right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you, you see, it, 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 it's actually God who takes the leading role. Somebody tell me how to work this thing. It takes, huh? It actually takes God who takes the leading role. Part in renewing in your mind. Because our own strength, hmm, with our own strength, we cannot make our own evil self into a righteousness self. No, no. But even through God himself, creates our new spiritual self. Coming from his words. You see, even though God himself creates our new spiritual self, we must still do our part. And that is, we got to put on the new self. Huh? So that we don't want to go grab our cell phone more than we do the words of God. We got to put on a renewing of our mind. Young men, so... You don't want to go grab your pistol when somebody make you a little upset. Oh, I know I'm right about it, y'all.